Thursday was mostly spent on the 2009 M5 for rod bearings. So last night I got the oil pan out. Mike started this morning, removed the oil pump and the Vanos pump. They're sitting over there awaiting more service. And uh, then methodically went through all 10 cylinders, replaced upper and lower rod bearings, torqued down the ARP bolts to 50 pounds in 25 pound at a time segments. Put little paint marks on the caps so we know which way they go. They've got to go back in the right cylinder and in the right orientation. Tomorrow we'll be replacing the chain tensioners on the Vanos pump. You can see how orange they are. Those are supposed to be quite white in color, actually. We've got the high pressure Vanos line to go still too, which I think is going to be miserable. There's what that tensioner is supposed to look like. That's a lot of oil and heat cycles. Customer approved doing the front sway links, straight arms, tie rods, and alignment. We'll have to go through the rest of the car and see if anything stands out as uh, being vastly overdue for service. I haven't even gotten a look at the rear suspension yet, but 90,000 miles, and I'm sure it's due for upper arms. I can't tell. I'll have to get a better angle and more light. That doesn't look terrible, actually. Rear links in these seem to last a really long time, and the diff bushings do as well, so it probably doesn't need anything too major. Tomorrow, we're going to be hopefully getting two cars out of here. Johnny's 2540 needs one more brake bleed. A little bit more Diag on the trifecta. Uh, I think they already got the strut tower brace back in place, so we'll be getting that done. Kenan's Ferrari was picked up today and taken to another shop where they can deal with it. We don't have to over the weekend. They found an exhaust leak right above the left inner CV joint, which is what failed, the, the boot rather, not the joint. So the hot exhaust gases uh, continuously hitting that rubber boot makes sense. That's why it felt hard, even though it was fairly new. And additionally, tomorrow, or Saturday morning, rather, we're going to be getting rid of this 2003 M5. That's done. Uh, wheels are obviously back and on from refinishing. They look amazing. Car drove really well last night. I didn't really note anything that needed additional attention. Today, I pulled off the front left door panel, resealed the vapor barrier, made a couple little tic-tac-y repairs up here. The door brake uh, clip had come out a little bit, so we tapped that back in. This was dented in. Somebody must have hit that. So I took the speaker off and very gently pushed it back into shape. And then the door panel needed a touch of repair and a few new clips. So that's done. Tomorrow, a PDI, a little bit of cleaning, and it'll be delivered. We're receiving a lot of parts on this guy. Um, yesterday, as I mentioned, he increased the work scope significantly, so I've got everything on order, and those are coming in. And then the 98 540s out back, we still need to level the headlights, uh, but it looks like he's gonna pan all the suspension work. So I've gotta finish installing a blue bus, and he did approve some kidney grills. So those will go in tomorrow. That's all I've got today. It is 10, 11. I'm gonna go home and make some mac and cheese, I think, watch an episode of All in the Family, and crash, and get some sleep. And lastly, I'm taking home Black Betty. Uh, we've done some more work on that. Just need some more miles to make sure the codes don't come back. So this will be a nice, uh, slow <laughs> cruise home in an automatic 530. Nice and comfy, though.